Welcome back my peeps. It's another freaking scorch road here today. Inside this tent is gonna be freaking insane. Yep, just confirmed it. Holy crap. There's no way I want to put any type of clothes on today, but I know there's no way you guys want to see that. I'm also cooking bacon for lunch. So it's probably in the best interest of both of us so that I just put a shirt on, right? So who else dips their fried egg and bacon sandwiches in ketchup? Mmm, delicious. Let's get to work. Come here. Before we start, did you see that? We got 500 subs people. Not only did we hit 500 subs, but we blew it away. We're like 530 something as of today, right now. What? And we also got a shout out from a guy by the name of Camo Dave. I don't know if you ever watched him before. I'll take his channel below with the video I'm in. We had like five seconds of fame on his channel. So let's move forward. Last week, you saw us put all this framing into our van, which was absolutely exhausting and very, very time consuming. And this week, we're gonna cover it all in plywood. Wanna find out if this was any less time consuming than the last one? I'll give you a hint. We used 350 of these tiny little screws. Now for tools, you're gonna need a drill, or possibly two, a saw. <laughs> and a tape measure. And for materials, we're gonna need some four by eight sheets of 3 8 plywood that have been waterproofed with our bare waterproof finish as well as some glue, so we can glue those panels straight to those furring strips. And we're gonna use some eight by five eighths Robertson head screws to hold it all together. Cause we know when we glue and screw it, if you try and pull it apart, they start looking like this. Like it holds them solid. Oh, and you're gonna need some of these, which are electrical boxes for the 115 volt plugs that we're gonna have in our walls. So these were off Amazon again. These are a shallow depth plastic housing in which can mount into where our walls are gonna be and still give room behind the wall so it's not actually touching our insulation or anything like that. And now that we're at 500 subscribers, that means all the links are tagged below. I spent, I bet you 10 hours this week going back through almost all of our videos. I haven't got them all done yet. And I even went as far as putting a Canada link and a US link, depending on where you're viewing from. And when you click these links, it does not cost you any extra money. It does give me a bit of a commission, I'll admit that right off the bat, but it takes it out of Amazon's profits and gives it to a person you know like me that's making videos to entertain you with. That way Amazon makes less, I make a little, you get the product you want for the same price. We're all winning in this deal, my friends. So, ahead of time, thank you, thank you, thank you for clicking that click. My neighbor's getting his roof done right now. Awesome, right? <laughs> Add to the challenges trying to record while building this stupid thing. And seeing we're working alone on this project, I'm going to start with the bottom side of plywood. That way, when we do the top side, I'll have something to rest on to get that full sheet up. So first thing I want to do is measure our height from top to bottom so that we hit halfway on this board. So I'm going to make a line because this is the most important one to make sure it's perfectly straight in between our segments. Now that we have those measurements, length and width, we do have to keep in mind that we have wires that come through this wall as well. Now I need to make a hole here and a hole here, including a spot in which we can put one of those blue electrical boxes in so we actually have a plug in this spot for our 115 volts. So now we're just gonna take our rough measurements and then we'll copy that onto our board inside the garage and simply drill some holes and we're ready to install this onto the wall. Oh yeah, I guess you're probably gonna need a hole saw as well then if that's the case. That's why I don't do these tool things. For the most part, being a first time builder, I don't even know I need the tool until I need the tool. You know what I'm saying? And with our board all cut, we'll lay it down in front of the spot we want it to go, take a little bit of our glue, and run it around where our wood furring strips are gonna be. And we just screw it all in place. See? And there's our first wall installed. Warm enough yet? Almost forgot you guys were running. Check this out. We have these little blue boxes we spoke about for our 115 volt wire, 120 volt, whatever you want to call it. So it has these little V slots in the side, which we just push our wire through. Just kind of like that. And then on here, it has these locks. So you make sure they're pushed down. And then we slide our box into the hole. And then we tighten it down. 
and bada bing bada boom look how smooth those are in there eh? now we got our wire we just put our plug right onto there and we got a plug just like you got at home my friends and after that that's all there is technical to it so I'm gonna turn on some tunes and just get this job done Which means that our DIY van build is going into Sunday again. So, give me a second. We'll see you in the morning. Oh, and welcome back, my peeps. <laughs> I've been waiting here all morning for you. I almost finished my coffee, even waiting. But, I got some fabulous news. So, yes, we hit 500 subscribers. Yes, we're able to make our links and all this kind of stuff. So, things are looking good. But there was a channel that reached out to me last week called Justin and Christina's RV Van Life. And they are under the impression that our channel should be much bigger than it is. For myself, I don't know. You can't rush a good thing, but hey, thank you. But they've asked if we would do a live stream with them. And that's happening tomorrow, August 3rd, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. It's pretty exciting stuff. That means you and I can actually talk to each other live, our first ever live stream. So leave a comment below. Let me know if you'll be there. And I'll also put the link to that in the description below. And you can see the real, live, raw, uncut Jeff Dares. Because I cut a lot of me out because I don't know how to react to me sometimes. But you guys might enjoy that side. But enough about that stuff. Let's get back to the van. So to finish this video out, we need to fill this spot in with our paneling. And one of the spots that I really debated when I was planning the van was cutting around the wheel wells. So I just want to show you real quick what it was that I did. So our van, when we purchased it, came with all this black paneling that was all inside the van you can see here. Now although it was a pain in the butt when it came disassembly time to get this van ready, it's coming in as a positive now because it has the wheel well arches cut into it and they're half waypoints. Now, when you take these plastic pieces and put them in here, they don't actually fit the wheel well as you can see because we have a floor in here and they didn't actually come right to the wheel well as it is but it does give you that right arch just to be able to get the angle of the curve and then we just shrink that down by whatever that measurement is when we measure it pretty straightforward stuff so then what i did is i took this and i cut them onto a scrap piece of wood which now then we're going to take said template put it onto our piece of wood that we cut out it's going to fit in there and trace it out. Now this doesn't have to be perfect and I'm actually going to go off the line a little bit because I can see by the way it fits in there that needs to be like this. It was about one inch which we're pretty much dead on to and it doesn't need to be exact because on this particular piece you're not actually going to see it afterwards but you do want a nice clean cut of course. So we're going to take our jigsaw. Yep another tool I forgot. You're going to need a jigsaw. Add that to the list and just cut it out. Now that we've got this piece cut, let's unclamp it, bring it to the van, and surprisingly enough, it fits like a glove, my friends. What? You'd almost think we knew what we were doing all of a sudden here. I do have to cut some holes for our electrical box as well as our 12 volt hole, just like this. That project's done as well now. So we got our plug in for our 115, we got our 12 volt for our pump and stuff. And if I bring in the water tank, you'll see it sits just above the tank. The seat height will be here, which means our UV filter will be able to plug in just perfectly right above our tank. So now, last but not least, we'll get this thing out of the way first. I'm gonna put a panel up here, as well as a panel right up. Oh, shoot. Ooh, that's better. Sorry about that. <laughs> and the panel right up here. And that, my friends, is the end of the paneling of the van. Wanna check it out? What do you 
you think about that? Looks pretty sweet, eh? All paneled in. Now, again, this is just the undercoat that is not the final. This is just giving us a spot that we now know with the threes plywood, I can screw into anywhere on these walls and have some rigidity to it. Now, we did not finish the windows. You'll see they are framed and ready to go, but that is a whole project all in itself. So stick around, hit that subscribe, and we'll get to that, I promise. We'll show you how we do that one. It's gonna look sweet. But I think this is the time we call this video. So don't forget about the live stream tomorrow, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. I hope to see you there, description is below. If you haven't subscribed yet, maybe consider doing so. Of course, no pressure, you do you, but it is completely free. It does mean the world to me. If you have subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, as always, we, we will see you next Sunday. Perfect.